So now in this video, we have a, a couple of NPN bipolar junction transistors here wired as a Schmidt trigger. So before we begin, uh, this is definitely not an ideal circuit. We're wasting a lot of current right now. We would want to modify this to be a, a practical circuit. Um, but in any case, uh, the main principle of this is uh, right now the LED is off. And uh, using an NPN bipolar junction transistor, if you have a slowly changing uh, voltage, there's uh, usually uh, it, the LED could be off in this case. But uh, when it starts turning on the transistor, it doesn't turn on completely right away if the uh, signal is slow enough. And uh, therefore, like the LED would kind of glow up over time uh, before it's uh, fully on. When we have it wired as a Schmidt trigger here, you're going to see the LED, boom, it came on right there. So now there's actually less current flowing right now, as you can see there. So the current is flowing uh, through a resistor and then an LED now. Before it was just flowing through a resistor almost to ground. That's a 22 ohm resistor helping to lower the current a little bit. Uh, but the vast majority of the current is that 220 ohm resistor right there. So we uh, pretty much about this point here, the LED came on. Now I'm going to have to lower the voltage a uh, extra distance right there before it will turn off. There you can see it turned off there instantly. And uh, I'll slide this up a little bit. So it, there's no like fading its way up as the transistor starts conducting more and more. The transistor is just either off or on. And actually right now the transistor is off even though the LED came on. And now when I lower it, the transistor suddenly turned on which turned the LED off and uh, we'll zoom in you can see we got the 220 ohm resistor there to the positive supply it's quite warm there that's the long lead the anode short lead the cathodes up here coming to ground so when the led is on i'll turn it back on then we have that current path there that transistor is off right now and uh, the reason why that transistor is off is because this one is on so when it's on you can see we got uh, ground there and uh so it uh, cuts the voltage. It drops it to zero volts, basically. Probably a little bit more, but uh, in any case, um, it's uh, pulling down. So yeah, this one is on, and uh, we got 1,000 ohm resistor there, letting current flow through there. I made this diagram a long time ago. I don't know uh, how much you can adjust the, the component values, uh, but definitely for the output. I wouldn't do an LED. I'd have like a 10K resistor there, and then maybe another NPN bipolar junction transistor. A little current could go. Or maybe a MOSFET transistors. They don't really need any current at all. They can just respond to uh, the voltage. Um, so you could wire them up to switch an LED directly. And uh, you'd be lowering the current by a whole lot. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but yeah, as I said before, uh, both their emitters are going to ground. And um, or both their emitters are tied together, I mean. And then between the emitters and ground is a 22 ohm resistor right there and I think that's the main thing that'll get uh, one transistor to uh, turn off fully while the other one's on fully or vice uh, versa so um, this is our basically control transistor there uh, we get above about uh, 0.6 volt difference between these two points right there raise the voltage enough then this transistor starts uh, conducting so you get it high enough this transistor turns on uh, that's going to limit current there, that 1000 ohm resistor, and a little bit from the transistor. But the main thing is, then we suck the voltage down there. So that turns that one off. So while this one's on, that turns that one off right there. And then current can flow through the LED. When uh, we turn this one off, so lower the voltage enough to uh, cut it, then it's not uh, conducting. So we have that path right there. That transistor will turn on in that way and that will allow uh, current to flow here and when that transistor is on since the current's flowing through the transistor more easily than the LED right there um, the LED is not going to light up as we said uh, before so there we go and uh, yeah I don't really have like a terribly easy explanation uh, for this circuit uh, to be honest so we will leave it at that otherwise you can just look at the circuit and uh, basically wire this up and make modifications if uh, you feel like this is a useful circuit. So uh, we got a high enough voltage. 
that transistor is on because it's above uh, 0.6 volts between those two points there. So this one's off, the LED is lit up, as I said before. Now I'm going to turn this transistor off, which turn that transistor on. So now the current going through that resistor is headed to ground, as I said uh, before. And uh, that's a 1000 ohm resistor up there. 220, uh, only 22. There's a little, I think that's silver right there to indicate um, that uh, it's like 220, but then silver means, I believe, uh, point, you times it by 0.1. So you get rid of that uh, zero there for just 22. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then a 10K resistor, sending the signal across. And um, we, you know, don't really need a resistor necessarily. But if I go all the way to the positive supply up here, then uh, that would be a direct connection without that resistor to the positive supply and only 22 ohms of resistance at that point limiting the current. Um, so yeah, we might as well put that 10K uh, resistor there. But uh, right here, we have 5,000 ohms of resistance coming from the positive supply. So we could also maybe just put uh, the resistor up there uh, to uh, limit the uh, current. Could do that as well, have a jumper go across. Um, but uh, we're not gonna talk too much about modifications. There's all kinds of modifications uh, we could make. Um, so not gonna dwell on that too long. The uh, NPN bipolar junction transistor, it's a 2N3904, as I said in the uh, schematic right there. So I have the flat side to the right. So if you're looking at the front, the left would be the emitter. Uh, when it's facing to the right, the bottom's the emitter. Middle of the base and the top is the collector. Same pin layout uh, for that one. They're both 2N3904. So, um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I post on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help a lot. I'll see you in the next video.